What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out some important updates to its system applications and I thought I will keep you guys posted about this. Now when I open Samsung Galaxy Store and tap on menu and go to the updates, you can see we have got the updates for six system applications here and this is currently on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and even on the S23 Ultra there is a bunch of updates which I will show you guys. Now the first update is for the Samsung One UI Home. Let me tap on this. You can see in the change log it says fixed errors which One UI Home is forced to be closed or not responded after restoring using smart switch. Now in case if you are restoring your phone using smart switch uh, and if you are trying to restore the One UI Home settings uh, then there could be some errors which you might have faced and this update should fix that you should be able to restore your one UI home application settings on another device without any issues after the update for the Samsung one UI home now uh, the second one is fixed errors when opening app folders if you're facing any issues with uh, opening app folders on the phone then this will fix it and it also says fixed bugs and improved stability of one UI home now with respect to one UI home application you should not have any issues any bugs after updating the application to this latest version Version. And just for your information, let me also show you the version number here. It's 15.1.01.3 and the update was received on 5th March 2024. Now let me just go ahead and update this. It's updated. Now let me go back and check the home application. In fact, I did not have any issues with One UI home application. It was running very smoothly. Uh, but in case if you have faced any bugs on this particular application, then you can go ahead and update this. This update should fix all those bugs. The next update we have got is for the reminder application. Let me tap on this. You can see it just says bugs fixed and the latest version is 12.5.02.5 and again the update was received on 5th March. The reminder application was recently updated with some new features. We have got uh, background customization for the reminders with that latest update. I have already posted a video about that. If you missed it, you can go ahead and check out the channel. Uh, now let me just update this application as well and I will go back to the next one. Now here, Samsung Calendar. Let me tap on this. Again, we have got some bug fixes here for Samsung Calendar. The latest version is 12.5.02.1. Let me update this next one is Samsung internet browser now this is a Samsung internet browser beta now uh, by default you get Samsung internet browser on your galaxy phone and if you want to experience some newly released features uh, you can uh, install Samsung internet beta because all those new features will first arrive on the beta version of the internet and uh, then it will come to the stable version so in case if you want to test those new features you can install this Samsung internet browser beta now for this app we've got a new update uh, it says possible to show menu bar while scrolling and fixed bugs and improved stability. Now the version here is 25.0.0.20. Now the app is updated. Let me show you the new features that has been added on the internet browser beta. Now you see this is the home page. Now at the bottom we have got this menu bar here. Now while scrolling this page you see the menu bar disappears here. You see when I scroll up it disappears and when I scroll down it appears here. Now for this we have got a brand new settings. Let me go to the menu here. Tap on settings. And uh, under layout and menus, we have got this brand new feature called show menu bars while scrolling. Now I can enable this. Uh, let me go back now. You see on the home page, uh, even if I scroll up and down, the menu bar is available right here at the bottom. That is a brand new feature we have got uh, with this all new update. The uh, menu bars will remain fixed here at the bottom even when you are scrolling uh, the pages up and down. The next important update is for these two applications. One is nearby device scanning. When I tap on what's new, it says stability and bug fixes. Let me open this. Uh, yeah, here it is. It says stability and bug fixes. Then it says support smart things, BLE pop-up and Mata QR onboarding in China. Now this is not applicable to any other countries. It's only for China. The first one is stability and bug fixes which is very important. Now this is a default application which is available on the Samsung Galaxy phones for scanning devices. Update to this application should improve the connectivity in case if you're connecting your uh, phone to the watch or Galaxy Buds or any other Samsung devices. Uh, the connectivity between the devices should improve and if there is any bugs in connectivity then this update should fix it. Likewise, we also have continuity services. Now, this is a service from Samsung for uh, continuity for between the Samsung Galaxy devices and maybe uh, the tablets or Samsung uh, laptops. This update should also fix the bugs for the continuity services. Now, these are some important updates we have got on uh, the Galaxy S24 series. Likewise, we also have a few updates received on the S23 uh, Ultra. Let me show you that now. Here is the S23 Ultra. Let me open the Galaxy Store here. I'll tap on the menu and then let me tap on updates. 
Now, here is a huge list of updates that we have got on the S23 series. Uh, Reminder has got a brand new update. Again, it's bug fixes. Uh, then we have got AR emoji. Uh, it says improve the Samsung Cloud Sync feature. Then we have got uh, update for the tips. Uh, AR emoji. It says improve the design of eyes and eyebrows. Improved facial expressions as well. Now this is the latest version uh, AR emoji editor we have got. 6.1.00.8. And this update has arrived a few days ago on the Galaxy S23 series. Now let me go back. We also have an update for the pen up. Again, this adds a couple of new features. New brush added uh, as drawing tool supports reversing in select mode. Legal representative consent logic added to child accounts in a GDPR Europe region and fixed bugs. Now this is for the pen up we have got. Then we also have update for uh, the Galaxy resource updater. Here it says Galaxy resource updater is a system application that supports updating your phone software provided by Samsung. Samsung. So whenever you get a software update on Samsung Galaxy phones, this is the application which supports those updates. So uh, we have got this update for a Galaxy resource updated as well. You can go ahead and update that. Then we have got some more updates for Galaxy Watch 6 Manager. Auto blocker, this is a very important feature that we have got. Then we have got Samsung Health Monitor. If you have Samsung Health Monitor in your region, you will be able to get an update for this as well. Uh, I, I don't see any new features being added here. It could be just the bug fixes. And even the auto blocker, I don't see any new features. Uh, it is just the bug fix. But it's very important for you guys to update the auto blocker. Uh, this is a feature which is available on One UI 6.1. Let me show you that. Let me go to the settings and tap on security and privacy here. Now this is where you will find auto blocker uh, it says keep your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activities when you tap on that you get a switch to enable here this application blocks the apps from unauthorized access turns on app security checks blocks commands by usb cable make sure you enable this particular feature when you enable this we also have a couple of more toggles here under advanced we've got messaging app protection block software updates by usb cable now uh, the first one is important block images suspected of containing malware in message applications uh, so any messaging applications may be whatsapp or any third party apps or maybe system uh, messaging application uh, this feature should block the images suspected of containing the malware so make sure you enable this particular feature on your galaxy phones now these are some of the important updates we have got uh, for the galaxy s24 series and s23 series uh, so go ahead check your galaxy store and update all these uh, applications to make sure they are running smoothly go ahead and update it that's about it that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching if you're interested in the wallpaper that are showcased in this video you can go ahead and check them out the links are in the description go ahead and download it and even the links for these widgets these are the kwgt widgets on the top i have left links for these widgets also in the description you need to be a pro kwgt application user to install these apps so these are also paid apps premium apps so you can download them from the galaxy store and install it on your samsung galaxy phone they look beautiful you can even further customize them if you want that's about it thanks for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead subscribe and give this video a like if you find this useful, uh, you guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.